Hey guys, how's it going? This is Andrew with C Brothers Gaming, uh, bringing you a classic here uh, called Mob Rule. Uh, I don't know if anyone's ever played this before. I used to play this one uh, uh, a while back when it came out. Uh, I'm gonna try to do a run through here. I've never beaten this game, uh, but I had a ton of fun playing this game. So let's go ahead and get started, and uh, we'll see what we can do. I don't really remember how to play, so. Uh, let's go ahead. We're gonna play on easy just because uh, I don't really remember. So, should we be Slick Joey, Nick the Knife, Kenny the Kid, or Bugsy Serrano? Uh, I like Slick Joey. He's slick. So, let's go ahead and be Slick the Joey. The set of missions will introduce you to the basic functions of the game. The computer will occasionally help you with hints. All right. So this guy's gonna give us missions, and those are gonna be kind of what we have to do to move on. Listen up. Voice build a soup kitchen next to your HQ. Place a tenant in it and start breeding some moikas. Okay, seems simple enough. So we need to build a, uh, a soup kitchen. Wow, that scrolls really fast. Um, how can I fix that? Is there a way I can fix the scrolling? There's got to be some sort of options. Okay, setup options, automatic screen, screen scroll speed. Uh, five? What does 5 do? Oh my god, 5 is so quick. Um, let me see, what else? Maybe 1? Automatic screen scroll return. Was one? Okay, 1's a lot better. Okay, so we'll do with 1. Okay, so here's our... Uh, oh, jeez. Uh, okay. I, I don't like the automatic screen scroll, so we'll click on that. Uh, yeah, a little, a little difficult uh, here. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, well we'll just we'll we'll do our best here, guys. Okay, so um let's see. Yeah. What do we need to do? We need to build a house. Uh hold on. Okay, we need to uh build a house. Soup kitchen, right? So uh start building now. Uh so we're going to purchase a building and it is going to be this soup kitchen right here. Uh, and we will go ahead and build it, so... Okay, so we'll build it right here next to the HQ. And then we'll move this over. And we'll center it right there. And now I'll highlight my workers, and I will move them into the construction zone. And I believe they will start building, uh... Nope, over here. Alright, so we built our soup kitchen. Um, so now what we need to do, oh my gosh, this mouse. Uh, so now what we need to do is we need to rent it out. So I'm going to click in here, and I'm going to click on the tenant, and uh, I'm going to click on the bald guy, because he, he uh, if I remember correctly, he uh, makes the people faster. So we'll appoint the tenants, and uh, the tenant can produce more level 1 tenants or workers. Uh, so I believe the mission was to have him do workers. So that's what we'll do, and in 105 seconds we will have a worker that will go to the headquarters, so. Okay, wise guy, you're doing well. So now, buy some land and build a cement factory and a gadget factory on it. When the cement factory is built, get some guys inside and restock it back up to 10 units. And don't forget, make sure to breed at least two of the workers. Alright, so now we got to buy some more land. Uh, we need to build a cement factory and a gadget factory. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build another soup kitchen right here. And I'm going to get my workers to, to build the soup kitchen. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the soup kitchen making some more uh, tenants. Because we, we don't ever want to run out of tenants. So what I'll do is I'll put these guys in the headquarters. They can kind of heal slowly over time in the headquarters. And we'll rent it out uh, to this guy again. And uh, we'll start making some tenants. So uh, this way I'll have uh, new tenants uh, when these guys, because they pass away, unfortunately. Uh, I'll have some more. Uh... There we go. If I click over here. Uh, sorry, guys. This, this scrolling is really, really difficult. So I'm going to purchase this land up here. Uh, I believe uh, you do that. Like this, yep, I am correct. Beautiful. Alright, great. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, we gotta build some things. 
Okay, so how do we do that? Businesses. So I think it's purchase buildings. And I think it's if I click on resources. Yeah, so the cement factory, which is right here. Beautiful. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll get the uh, cement factory going. Uh, so that's going to take some workers. And uh, we'll leave one of the workers in the cement factory. Just so that they can constantly always be making cement. Uh, because if you look up here at your top... Uh, at the top bar here, uh, it shows you how much money you have, it shows you the date, uh, how much cement, uh, brick, and then steel. I do remember steel being a little bit more of a premium uh, resource that you, you kind of need later on in the game. Um, so I think we need to restock the cement. So I'll put all the workers in there for now since they're not doing anything else. And uh, they just uh, start making cement. So now you can see I'm up to five. And then uh, they make another block, it goes to six, so uh, that's pretty good there. And I've got another worker here in the uh, headquarters, so what I'll do is I will take all of these guys, bring them down to the headquarters, and then I'll put one guy in the cement factory, and I'm just going to leave him in there. Um, I know if you click on the headquarters, you can transform some workers into fixers and then gangsters. Uh, we're going to need the gangsters uh, eventually, not anytime soon, this is a tutorial, uh, but we'll need the fixers uh, to, to keep the buildings maintained and upgraded. So uh, the buildings kind of go, they they deteriorate after a while, uh, but I don't, I don't think anything like that is, is going to happen anytime soon. So yeah, this game's super, uh, super fun to play. Um, I really uh, enjoyed this game uh, when I did have it. Um, so I wanted to do kind of a, a run through here and kind of see how I do. Uh, what was the other thing we needed to do? We needed to build a gadget factory, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build uh, another soup kitchen. And you're probably thinking, Andrew, I know you're the Sea Brothers gamer. And I know you got skills at these games. I've seen some of your videos. You're pretty. You know what you're talking about. But why are you building another soup kitchen? Well, I'm going to answer that for you because we need to start generating some revenue. Uh, if you guys notice, we started at 100,000, and we're already down to 75,000. So, uh, I'm I would like to start making some money. Um, I don't know. I, like I said, it's been a long time since I've played this game, but I, I think if we build up pretty good, we'll, we'll be able to take over this town. I know some other families kind of come in and they fight you, I, I guess, and you have to kind of take over their stuff, but. Let's go ahead, let's rent this building out. I'll put another tenant in. I'm going to put this guy in with the, the bigger nose. Uh, because if you look, you can see his rent is 250 The other guy's only 187 So we'll get more uh, money from him. So I'm going to leave it on the cash. And then I'm going to put the bribe down at 10%. If I can. And there we go. Yeah, so now 10% will go to uh, the city hall or police or whatever. And uh, we want that police interest to be pretty low. If the police interest gets high, they'll shut down your business. 10% uh, of 250 is 25, so we should be making uh, 225 every so often out of out of that place. So that that'll help us generate a little bit of income. And there it is. There's the 225. So a little bit of income just to help us out. Uh, I know we do get uh, taxed in this game as well. We'll have to pay taxes, and then we pay for repairs when the fixers do the repairs. So. Let's go ahead, let's build that gadget factory here, and I think that's uh, going to be under resources or utilities, okay. It's under utilities, I'm going to build the gadget factory. I'm going to make it the whole thing, because if I remember correctly, if you don't use up all of your land, it makes it so that, oh my god, this, this mouse is really difficult, guys, I'm sorry. It makes it so that you can't buy more land, and then you're just kind of stuck with stuff, so... As you can see, I've got one worker in the cement factory. He's just kind of going to hang out in there and he's going to make cement for me so I don't ever have to worry about cement. And uh, I've got this building here building workers, this one tenants, and this one making money. So uh, we've got a pretty good infrastructure built already. And now I have five workers. So what I'll do is, uh, you know, once I get a couple more, I'll probably transform uh, some of them into fixers so that they can go through and they can fix, uh, they can fix the properties. So... Uh, I think what I need to do now is I need to get cement back to 10 blocks, I believe. And we did breed two workers, which wasn't uh, a mission to advance, but is something that uh, the guy did suggest. So he looked pretty scary. I don't want to not do what he suggests. I don't want him to come get me. 
Uh, he's he's a pretty big guy with some pretty big hands, so definitely don't want that. But let's check in this building here, and as you can see, now this guy's on child three. Uh, every child they produce uh, takes uh, a little bit longer and so forth. There are ways to speed that up. Uh, I'll show you guys later on in the, the next episodes. Uh, so but we did it. time to start making some dough. You gotta make your soup kitchen the best in the neighborhood. We need to build a f***ing big oven in that gadget <laughs> factory and then put it in the house. This guy. We gotta get at least a couple of months rent from the new diner. And while you're waiting, convert some of them workers into smart fixers so you can start looking after those new city blocks that you're gonna get. Alright, so we need to upgrade our soup kitchen, make sure it's paying us rent, and then uh, turn some workers into fixers. So... I'm not going to buy any more land just yet. Uh, I do have a soup kitchen that's already on revenue. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go into the gadget factory. And uh, I think it said that we need to build an oven. So I'm going to do that. I'll click on oven and then I will buy it. And then I'm going to buy these as well. These, uh, I know you tend to need those at a later date. Uh, and you do need some workers in the gadget factory. So I'm going to take one, and I'm going to put him in the gadget factory, and I'm just going to leave him in there. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to take a worker and make him a fixer. And I will take the fixer, and I'm going to click on auto repair function. And now what he's going to do is he's going to go up and down this block, and he is basically going to fix the houses for me and make sure that everything's good to go. Now that's going to take a little bit of money each time from us, the more that needs work and the more that needs to be fixed. So uh, he'll go back and forth uh, fixing uh, the buildings so we don't have to worry about repairs on them. So, All right, so one of our buildings has started to deteriorate and it uh, looks like that's this one up here. So let's go ahead, we're going to make another fixer and we're going to have that yeah, fixer yeah, of course. do that block up there. And he'll get to that building, and I could manually uh, buy it, basically, but um, the fixer will go in, and the fixer will definitely uh, take care of that. So, there he goes, and uh, I, I don't know if it's cheaper to manually buy it or just have the fixer do it. Uh, I'm just going to let the fixers just do what they need to do. Um, so, I've got one worker in the gadget factory, one in the cement factory, and i got uh, two in the headquarters. Uh, so, I'm going to... Hmm, what do I want to do? When do I get another worker? Pretty soon I'll have a third worker. Okay, that'll be great. So let's see, is the gadget factory? Yep, so I have my oven. So I'm gonna click on my oven and I'm gonna put that in this soup kitchen here. And they will deliver that, I believe. Yeah, there he goes, there's the guy. He's going to deliver the oven. And I believe the oven has been delivered. Very good. So now we can upgrade this building. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to upgrade it. Three units of cement. Four G's. Sounds good to me. I've got two workers here. i got to bring them onto the field. And there they go. Alright. So in the meantime, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the gadget factory. I've got a subway station. I'm going to put that right there on that corner. And that'll uh, help us out later on in the game. It'll allow us to kind of move down the subway blocks and move through the city. So, all right, the yeah, diner is okay. done. Now we need some more buildings up and running to breed some new people. Build another soup kitchen and drinking den. Make one of them breed workers, the other new tenants to replace the ones you're using. To keep everybody happy, how about making a few trees in the gadget factory and planting them in the gardens? All right, so if you guys see, we did the other soup kitchen already. Um, it's already, we have another soup kitchen making workers, one making tenants, so we're already ahead of the game there. I'm going to bring the worker back into the headquarters. Now the diner is generating still 250 I think. I don't know, I feel like the diner might be generating more money since we upgraded it. I, I don't know. Uh, uh, we'll have to see. Uh, but what we're going to do now is we're going to clear out this bottom part here. We're going to buy this land. Let's buy it. And we are going to build ourselves three drinking dens. Yes, I said three. Alright, so 
drinking den number one. Done. Uh, drinking den number two. Done. And drinking den number th three. Done. Beautiful. Alright, so I've got my workers. Now I'm going to have to make one of these workers into a fixer. Um, so that we can go ahead and uh, get this block maintained as well. But what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to have one of the buildings generate money. And then the other two generate workers. Uh, we want to create as much workers as possible. We've got one making tenants. Ooh, a territory battle. We've got one making tenants, um, so that's okay. Um, uh, maybe I'll do one worker, one tenant, and one money. Um, yeah, let's do that. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and uh, let's get this guy in. We have five available, which is great. We'll appoint him. He's going to breed tenants, so we can always get those replaced. And then uh, this guy here is going to breed workers. So we start getting some more worker flow. And then the other one is going to be uh, the other guy for the cash flow, because we need to start getting some more revenue here. So... I'll bring the workers back into the headquarters, we'll make another fixer, and then we'll start repairing this block as well. Alright, so this guy's going to generate money, and uh, yeah, we're uh, doing pretty good so far. So yeah, this game is uh, pretty fun. Uh, I, do, uh, I do enjoy building these, uh, just building games in general, so... Alright, I got a guy in the gadget factory, I got a guy in the cement factory, we're going to make another fixer. I think later on in the game, the fixers cost two workers, so it's really critical to make sure you're building workers. Uh, but we'll get this guy going, and uh, we'll get him doing uh, that block down there. Alright, so this guy here, we got to make this 10% uh, for the bribe, so we get a little bit more money. There we go. Alright, so the fixers are doing their work. I've got two workers in the headquarters. I'm going to take one of them and grab the barrel. And I'm going to put that right here on the corner. You don't want to put it too far from where your territory is, otherwise it doesn't light. And that gives us a little bit more control here, especially over these blocks okay. down there. The next uh, barrel I'll get, I'll probably put up here by the gadget factory. And that'll kind of mark our territory. Uh, another thing that happens is the, uh, the enemies uh, start to spawn uh, in later missions. Uh, you'll see that they'll go ahead and they, they, they'll build uh, headquarters and start building some stuff. So, But for right now, we're just going to focus on uh, building our workers and getting our uh, stuff done. So we have, uh, let's see, what's where's the mission statement? Right here, right? You learn All right, so we got to do some trees. Yeah. Uh, we got to make some trees. So let's make some trees. I think we can, we can make the trees in the gadget factory. Uh, so that subway block that I told you that I needed to make. I'm going to put that right here, and this way, all three of my blocks will have subway access, and uh, they will all not complain about that, because that becomes a problem later on in the game, I believe they start complaining about, oh, I don't have, I don't have a subway, or whatever, so, alright, so, so the restaurant is still making 225, um, I don't, no, I think, I think this guy needs to, if he passes away, then he can. Then a new tenant comes in, and I think it makes more money. So, uh, we'll we'll see what happens with that. So, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna get the trees going here in the gadget factory. So we'll go ahead and we'll build those. I already have a worker in there, so it's good. And I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna build a still as well. And and you'll, you guys will see that in a later episode why I'm building that. All right. So we've got some money generating. We've got some workers in the headquarters. How many do I have? I have. I can't see because my screen is blocking it. Uh, let me see. I got some workers. Okay. So let's see. I got five. Or three. I have three workers. Okay. So three workers. No problem. We'll keep them in the headquarters. Yeah, sorry. My record button is right over where the workers head. So. All right. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut it here. I got the trees ready. We'll go ahead and get those trees in next episode. Uh, but I'm going to try to beat this game. I've never been able to beat it. Uh, if you guys have any tips or tricks or anything like that for me, leave them in the comments section below. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, this is uh, C Brothers Gaming bringing you another game. And uh, we're going to keep pumping out these videos and pumping out these games. So hopefully uh, you guys like it. Give us a subscribe, a like, just a couple views. Whatever you want to do, no, no big deal. 
uh, we're happy to just make the games for you, and just, we're playing them anyway, so we might as well film them. <laughs> Alright, my name's Andrew, C Brothers Gaming. Thank you so much for joining us today, and we'll catch you next time.